Today we're doing a review on the Cooper cooler. Do you need it? Does it work? Let's find out. I got the control, let's see if you can see that, 73.5. All these cans were sitting out in the garage overnight to acclimate. We're gonna start at 73.5. Okay, you fill the Cooper cooler with ice to below this rod, because this rod spins, and then you're gonna fill the rest with water. I used cold water already to keep the ice as icy as it can be. Right about, yeah, that'll do it. Then you simply stick a can in, rests on this, close the lid. We're gonna start with can, just the can mode, and we're gonna hit start and see what happens. And here you can see, it's just a pump that flows water, spins the can, no, it won't explode when you open it. If you have a bottle of wine, when that comes out, boom, let it go. All right, let's see what we got. All that temp's coming down. We're gonna do, so we got 58 seconds on just can. And now we're gonna do We're gonna do can extra. And now we're down 46. It's about as cold as you would get from a, a supermarket case. Eh, it's chilly. But we want cold. About two minutes. Final test. We're gonna go to just a bottle. Well, I don't know, pretty close to 32, 31.5. It's fluctuating a little bit, but we'll call it 32. So there you go. In three and a half minutes, you go from 75 to 32. So Cooper Cooler works. Do you need it? I don't know. You tell me.